Hey, church family, Brother Kyle here. I want to come to you uh, tonight, but you're going to be seeing this tomorrow uh, on Monday, uh, but just shooting just a brief video, uh, really kind of just showing you the inside of Bethlehem uh, as it's going to look Wednesday, uh, May 20th, and Sunday, May 24th, as you come to service. And uh, I really want to talk about uh, just really what we're expecting as a church as you walk inside of our facility. And really, we probably should have started outside to talk more about how this whole thing is going to play out. But uh, we'll just start from there. On Wednesday night, if you are planning to come to our uh, Wednesday night prayer service, uh, we're going to ask you, by, if all possible, to try to be here starting by 5.30 uh, in order to be here for the 6 o'clock service. And I know that there are several of you who say that you want uh, to come, which we are more than welcome to, to have you back. Uh, but we actually want you to wait inside of your car as you pull into uh, our parking lot, and uh, you will be uh, escorted right inside of the building. We're going to be actually having uh, deacons and those on staff that are going to come out. Uh, they're going to just help you uh, get right inside of our facility. They're going to be uh, someone actually taking you to your seat. And as you look and see, uh, things are completely different. We have uh, pews that have been pushed up. We have also pews that you're going to be sitting in, uh, but they will be taking you directly to your seat. Now, I know uh, as you're looking around and seeing that it is, uh, it is totally different, and I know that it's going to make some of you uncomfortable uh, because you're not going to be able to sit in your normal seat, but I assure you uh, the Lord will minister to you uh, regardless of what seat you're going to be sitting in, whether Wednesday night uh, or, or uh, Sunday morning, right? Uh, the Lord uh, is, is definitely free and able to move in those ways, but we want to encourage you that we are going to try to promote this social distancing. We have set the pews uh, for that very reason, right, where there's going to be six-foot clearance in front as well as six foot clearance uh, behind us as well to the side. So we're gonna be promoting that the best way we can. We've tried to lay out the amount of people according to uh, the survey that we did uh, and knowing that um, we're, we're gonna try to accommodate in those ways. We also have other things set up to where that if more people come than expected, we have overflow rooms. Uh, we have lots of things that, that are in place that we are going to be trying to do in order to accommodate everybody the best way that we possibly can. Now, a Sunday is probably going to be our biggest uh, difference when it comes to services. Uh, Sunday, uh, we're going to be offering two services right now. I know in saying that, I know that it's going uh, to, to be off kilter, right? I know that it's going to be different for uh, a lot of people, but according to our survey and the demand that we have, as well as with our, our new seating capacity, uh, we're going to be breaking this up into two services. All right, and the only way that we can break this up into two services, once again, we're basing this completely off of those who responded to our survey. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, we've seen it probably best just to try these two services. The first one will be at 11 a.m., our regular service time, right? No Sunday school yet. Uh, that's still just a, a few weeks, uh, if not a month out. Uh, but first service being at 11 a.m. And once again, we're going to want you to arrive at 1030. Uh, and of course, not everybody's going to be coming at 11. We're actually going to be breaking this up according to last names, according to the survey. Now, here's what I do want you to know. If you, if you are a, a member of Bethlehem right now, I, I can't please everybody at the same time, and I can't make this work the way that it needs to, but, but be obedient, right? Not, not, just to, not just to me as pastor, right? Be, be obedient to us as a church, as to what God is calling us to do in order for us to promote this social distancing, right? But alphabet, last name, A through L, we want you to come Sunday morning, May 24th to our 11 a.m. service. Last name, right? Last name, if it starts with an A and going through the alphabet to L, we want you to come to the 11 o'clock service, right? 11 o'clock service, A through L, 11 o'clock. Start arriving about 10.30, and that way we can get you seated, get you in the door. Uh, we'll be placing you where we need you to be. We're also going to be encouraging you, where did I set that, right? We, we cannot require you, right? But we are 
are going to be encouraging you, right? Encouraging for you to wear a mask as you come in. That's going to be for Wednesday night as well. Um, we, we want to see everybody promote this. Once again, if you show up and you don't have a mask or you don't want to wear a mask, I, we're not going to say get out of the building, but we definitely want you to pray about that. Uh, we're going to be wearing one, right? All leadership is going to be wearing a mask. Uh, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm going to wear a mask until I start preaching, and then I'm going to take it off because I'll probably either blow my head off or pass out one of the two. Uh, but I am going to I am going to wear one up until that point, and then after preaching as well, right? So we're gonna we're gonna be promoting everything in the best way that we possibly can. Uh, we're not going to be able to provide those, uh, as you know, the, it's crazy. Uh, but uh, I would love to be able to go that route, but definitely just don't have that at our disposal right now we're working towards that uh, but uh, encouraging 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 right for, for all to wear that to wear that a through l right may 24th 11 a.m service now that leaves right m through z all right what time are you guys going to be coming to church that's going to be 3 p.m all right and we're giving a, a a gap in between that and i know that some of you are already thinking that messes up my afternoon. That's messing up my day. I, I don't want to go to church at 3 o'clock. Get over it, right? Uh, you Be obedient to the Lord. Uh, you've been saying for weeks you want to get back inside. We want you back inside. But this is the best way. So why such a long gap between 11 and 3? It's not because I'm going to preach that long, right? Only half that time I'll be preaching. But the other time, right, we want to prepare and clean our facility, right? So after each service, we have uh, deacons and those and all staff, myself, we're going to be taking time to wipe down and clean down our church, right? We're going to be cleaning the pews. We're going to be cleaning all the, uh, the facilities, right, the bathrooms, the doorknobs, everything that's been touched, right? We're going to be cleaning that in order to try to sanitize our church the best way that we possibly can. And we don't want to, we don't want to be caught off guard and rush and do all those things. So, right, M through Z, 3 o'clock. You'll be doing the same thing. We'd love to see you show up about 2.30 so that we can start escorting you in and getting you inside of our building. Now, I know. I know that messes up the apple cart, and I know that there are already lots of people who are wanting to know those famous names. What, what, about, what about our live stream services? We're still going to be doing that, but we're going to live stream our 3 o'clock service. And I know, right, I, I know there's lots that won't like that, that would rather see it at 11 o'clock, and I get that. But we have decided as a church that that's going to fit us better to, to live stream uh, our 3 o'clock service. So we'll, we'll be putting every bit of this info out, right? We'll be typing it up nice and neat, putting it on our website. We'll be making a post on Facebook as well as this video. Deacons will start calling uh, their families tomorrow. Now, I know there's lots of questions for those that may be visiting uh, and that are not members of this church, right? Well, we've made plans for that. That's the reason why we're having two services. We're going to allow you to decide on what time that you do want to show up. And, and, and we want you to be a, 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 the best judge of that. The one thing that we don't want is members uh, deciding that uh, they would rather do this service and, 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 and not do that service that they're assigned to. All that's going to do is cause problems, right? So, so we want to encourage you, right? We're, we, we used to have one Sunday morning service, uh, 11 a.m., pre-COVID-19, and now we're, we're going to be providing three options, which... I don't know if you realize that. That's that's a whole lot for a church our size, right? We're gonna be we're gonna be providing a 11 a.m., a 3 p.m., or a live service. Now, in saying that, we're not gonna be doing our regular Sunday night small group discussion. What what you're gonna start seeing on Sunday nights for the next two Sunday nights is you're gonna see just some small devotions, whether that be from myself or uh, from Bobby Joe. But we're we're gonna be putting those out uh, that will just be sent to our Facebook page, be sent. Uh, to our website, pushed out through the church app, all those great things, but just a, a small devotion for you to just partake for your Sunday evening service. And, and, and I know, right, it's, it, it's really heartbreaking, but uh, with everything that's going on, the time that we're going to be spending, right, we, we need to be good stewards of our own times and with our families, uh, with every bit of this process that's going on. Now, I know even in saying that, I know that's been a lot of information because we're gonna we're really gonna flip the script come May 31st. 
the following Sunday, right after this reopen lunch, right, or, or recoming together on May 24th, we're going to flip those last names to whereas the, the M through Zs will actually get to come to the 11 a.m. service and the A through Ls will be going to the 3 p.m. service. Oh my gracious, right? That way that we're not playing any favorites, we're not picking any sides, everybody will have an opportunity to come to either that early service on the 24th or they'll be able to have uh, the next set of names will be on the early service for the 31st. So uh, we believe, we feel after meeting today that this is the best plan that we could possibly put out there. Uh, we know that it's not going to set well with some people, uh, but I assure you, we, we're, we're looking at everything that we, we possibly can to make the best decisions that we can for our church, and we want to continue to honor and, and, and satisfy God. Now, I know that I've heard from lots of families who have small children, and we're not going to be having... Uh, nursery, right? Four and under. We're not going to be having any kids' classes, right? Everybody's going to be inside of here. And here's what here's what we've done, uh, or that we're going to allow with uh, these two different services, right? Because uh, the last thing that we want to do is hinder a parent to say, "Hey, listen, I know my kids can't sit there. I know there'll be a distraction. I know that it will cause more problems. So I'm just going to stay at home and watch my kids, right? But we want you to come back and gather together. So what we are saying is, is that hey, if if, if dad wants to come to, to this service and bring uh, this kid or that kid and while mom stays home with the other kids uh, and, and then at the next service mom comes and, and dad stays home, we're gonna, we want to promote that, right? And we're not going to worry about names, right, and, and, and how that, that fits and what service, right, because we want you both to be able to come. Now, that, that I want to be our exception to the rule when it comes to adhering to that last name because we, we do want young parents, right, or parents of, of any age that have kids, we want them to be able to come. And, I, and trust me, I know that, that kids being loud, it, it doesn't personally bother me, but I, I know how it feels when you're sitting there and your kid is screaming, crying, and it doesn't stop and, and all those things. So... We want to try to do our best uh, to, to accommodate that. So parents, please, right, you work that out uh, and, and set that up. And we want to see both of you uh, next week uh, for sure. So I know this is tons of information. I know there's probably going to be lots of questions. So guess what? Reach out to us, right? Send me a text, right? Send send somebody on the text, right? Whether it's whether it's Kimberly, Bobby, Joe, or Amanda, your deacon, right? Uh, reach out to us. We want to we want to try to help. Uh, messages on Facebook. Our email addresses are on there. There's there's no excuse for you not to have your question answered, right? The worst thing that you can do is say, I wish I would have asked and, and not done it. So please take advantage of that. But more than that, wow, right? We're, we're less than just uh, several hours away from people being inside of this room. No longer is it going to be, well, I thought Caleb was sitting there. Uh, Caleb and, and me and, and Anthony or Bobby Joe or whatever deacon that's been here for our services while we've been taping. We're going to be gathered together inside of this room. Uh, with with other believers, and wow, I tell you, I'm I'm excited to see uh, you once again in fellowship with you. So I just pray, right? I pray for the decisions that we've made, and pray for your hearts as well that you will receive it gladly, and that you will come and celebrate and worship with us. So just praying for all that. Have a blessed night, and we'll be talking to you very very soon.